Moving on down to the biblical story of Genesis, it's slightly different. How would we characterize the relationship between man and God in the story of Genesis, tracking Patrick? They were tight. Like they were close. Why do you say that? Because he made him, he gave him a whole entire garden to himself, except he just said, mm -hmm. but I'll keep him that one tree. So glad that you said accept, right? In this case, we do have God giving man a whole lot. There's still something that he's withholding. This fruit, this tree, no go. Now let's talk about women in both texts. Manuel? Um, so the women in both texts, like the myth of Prometheus, the woman was like evil towards men, but in the book of um, the Genesis, basically, in the beginning, the woman was, was uh, they weren't evil, but until they were like tempted to do something wrong. Oh, and then they like came at man with a pickaxe, right? And they just murdered him in their sleep? Oh, that's not what happened? But you said women were evil. <laughs> Natasha, help him out. He's I drowning up here. Um, I agree that um, women were completely evil in that story. But I said that both women in each story were evil. They were both evil. They were both tempted. Both okay, they were both tempted to be bad. And then um, he was tempted to be bad. And then she was very bad. Excellent. So both women are tempted. So where is Emmanuel getting this evil piece from? Because he's not wrong. We're just picking on him. Where is he getting this evil piece from? Why do men start to view women as evil as a result of stories such as these? What do you think, Norm? Awesome. So the result of what happened as a result of the curiosity is ultimately what leads people to believe that women are evil. Let's flip to our exit tickets, which 